Howdy, Timber Drifter here. Out for an early morning walk. That's east and the sun is rising. Couldn't sleep last night. <clears throat> Just laying there in bed thinking about the same things over and over again. So about 10 after 5 I finally got up, grabbed the bag, pipe and a few other pieces of gear and headed out for a walk down the road. This is a forest road. Nobody lives on this road, as far as I know, anyway. So there's no traffic other than snowmobiles, and I think those folks are all probably in their hotel rooms or houses or passed out somewhere anyway. I haven't heard one. All I've heard is the ravens. This is my old uh, no-name English pipe, smoking some Sutliff Balkan Luxury Blend 957. I guess it's a good thing I couldn't sleep. I needed to do something radically different. The routine was getting a bit old. Whenever possible, I like to throw a wrench into the gears of routine. Keep my mind fresh. I don't think I could stand another day of uh, <clears throat> wake up have breakfast, drink tea or coffee, sit at the table, read a little something, look up the news, and either go work on something or go to the library, watch pipe smoking videos on YouTube all day. Can't handle it today. So I'm about five miles away from home. About a 10 mile round trip, I think I'll be thirsty and hungry when I get there. Deserve my breakfast. And I think I will have walked completely out of this rut that I'm in <laughs> by the time I get back there. I already feel pretty good now. So this is kind of like home for me. That's a lake that you're looking at out there, and I've spent a lot of time in these woods. I know what it looks like to be standing on that island over there with the pines, and that one much further back. And I've camped on this ridge over here. Camped on that island back there. That's quite a ways off. It's a big island surrounded by bog. Not a real big lake compared to a lot of the ones in the area here, but I've always liked it, even though it's right on a road, which is where I'm standing right now. This is kind of a plow pull off on the road here, where they pile snow to clear the area.
Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's 25 degrees already when I left this morning. You can smell the earth now. It's kind of coming up through the snow. You can smell the trees. Walking down the road as you go up and over hills and down into low spots. You know, it's colder in the low spots by the bogs. Walk up a hill and hit a, you know, it's a <clears throat> comfortable warm area with a slight breeze. And I could smell dirt even though there isn't any exposed. And the trees, and I think I was smelling deer. And there were uh, fresh deer tracks there. Anybody that's been up close to deer, probably deer hunters, know what they smell like. Kind of a combination of wet dog and ungulate musk. And I saw a fox also. Pretty sure it was a fox. It was about 100 yards down the road from me, and it was still fairly dark yet. A little bit ago, I started seeing the ravens flying. The woods are just quiet this morning. Just quiet. If the snow wasn't waist deep, I'd take a hike. I'd head right that way, back into those pines. There's a hill back there that overlooks a big bog. Beautiful view. my tamper. <laughs> when I left the house it was pitch black out and the only light was coming from the stars and the stars were quite bright. Yeah, really beautiful. It's really something to be out this early in the morning on foot. Self-propelled, you know. Watch the uh, bright stars turn into dark sky and the dark sky turn into a glow in the east and the glow in the east turn into this daylight and it's still still changing and it will for another hour or so so if you're in a rut in your mind folks try going outside and walking around oh, that's what works for me